Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of everyone is you pushed out. And if you haven't heard about that before, I recommend that you look up Neville Goddard, you read about his concepts in relation to that, because he talks about it a lot. I'm sure there's other people who've also talked about it as well, but he is one of the main people. And so essentially what this concept is, is saying that as we've talked about in other videos, we know that imagination creates reality. We know imagination is reality because the reality that you're viewing right now, that you're perceiving right now, is just the portion of imagination that is manifested in front of you. It's the portion you're choosing to experience right now. You're selecting to experience. But creation is finished. Everything exists in imagination, aka just the unmanifested reality. And so what this means is that all the stuff you see in front of you right now is literally you because imagination is you it's just your higher self and everything out here is also you it's just basically if you like to think about it it's like all your thoughts and beliefs and assumptions pushed out onto like a movie screen that's all it really is and so that includes all the people around you that includes the weather it includes animals just every little experience that you have it comes from you and I know many of us will not believe this at first because it seems crazy like how are my thoughts creating weather patterns or how are they you know affecting the people around me like I don't really understand and it's because the universe is very smart our, our higher self is very smart and very tricky and good at making this pretend world that we're living in look very real and it uses sort of metaphors and symbolism to make this happen so the universe kind of speaks in this language so if you start paying attention to why certain things happen there's usually a reason behind everything and it's usually leads back to something that you thought in the past or an assumption that you had and sometimes these assumptions can be so deep in the subconscious mind that you don't even know you have them so if you don't think you manifested something or you don't know how it got there just know that you might not even have realized it and your subconscious mind may just have picked up on it because again it's always listening to everything you say, seeing everything you do, and stuff like that. So what I mean when I talk about metaphors and symbolism in this outer world is that, so say someone is talking about, say you say something about thunder, randomly you talk about thunder, and then maybe a few days later there's a thunderstorm near you, or you hear about a thunderstorm somewhere else on the news. So that is a synchronicity, that is something that you've manifested into this reality, but it could also come up in many different ways in many different people's lives. So you could also hear someone come up to you and talk about the song Thunder by Imagine Dragons, or you have someone bring up the movie Cars and then you hear something about the mention of thunder in that movie, right? So it can come up in many different ways and that's why the universe is so smart. It's kind of hard to always pick up on these patterns unless you're really watching and listening. And this is something I went through to the point where these got so noticeable that my whole world felt like it was just no longer real at all because everything was becoming very predictable almost. But again, the universe is very smart and funny in the ways that it sort of speaks to you, speaks back to you, because again, the universe is kind of just like a mirror of your own subconscious mind. An example of this for some of you is like, I have cats, right? And back when I was really struggling with my thoughts and I was feeling overwhelmed sometimes, it would always be those times that my cats were like acting the worst or something, or they'd be running all over the place and doing bad things and getting into trouble. Like my one cat was just so bad. I had to have a gate on my kitchen. He would just eat everything. And I was just getting so angry at him all the time. And I didn't know why he was doing this because I'd had cats before <laughs> and whatever. And you know, so you're always kind of yelling at your pet, trying to get them to listen to you and whatever. But I had to realize over time that that was actually me pushed out. As in, I have realized that every time that I am not having a good day with my thoughts or I'm overthinking something, that is when my cat comes up and starts meowing a whole bunch all the time. And now that I'm talking about this, I'm hoping that we're not manifesting this, but <laughs> this can happen and you'll notice it and you'll notice people that are very loud or they have a lot going on in their mind, they're very busy, like their pets may be like this too. Or there could be other signs around them that this is going on. The universe is talking back to you. Like, it's almost like the universe is a big feedback loop. So it's just 
telling you like, what you're giving it. It's just showing you what you're giving it, but you have to pay attention to the cues to kind of understand what's going on. So now I know whenever he's acting out, I'm like, okay, I need to clear my mind. I need to calm my mind. And when I do that, he calms right down immediately. Like in my last video, he calmed right down. As soon as I just continued on with my speaking, did the same thing, calms right down. And that is one example of the universe talking back to you, showing you exactly what you gave it, but in a different form. So that's why you have to pay attention. And that's why quotes you'll read will have various meanings to you. And they will have different meanings at different points in your life as well. Something that you read two years ago could now have a different meaning today because you're at a different, you're in a different state, essentially. Because again, we know that time does not exist. You're simply moving through, shifting into different realities. But when we move into another state, we see things from another perspective. We're constantly changing our perspective of this world, our perception of it. So start paying attention to the little things going on in your life. This can even be seen as like traffic, could be seen, you know, traffic, busy mind, clutter in your house. Again, we talked about in the last video, one of the last videos about cleaning your house up because it shows the universe you're kind of like also clearing your mind when you're doing that because you're creating space for things. And so it kind of works both ways as well. But just think of it like a feedback loop. So everything that goes on in reality, everything you see is you. And it's just coming up in various ways and subtle ways that you may not always realize. But it's always speaking to you. So that's one thing I want to say first. And then also to realize though that you are also all the people around you. And I know that's always the hardest concept to grab. Even for me sometimes, I still forget about it. I still have to kind of like catch myself in the moment, be like, hey, this is me. And you realize that all the people that I've ever been kind to, have ever encouraged you, are your positive thoughts, are the best versions of you that do believe in yourself, like all the nice compliments you've gotten. That's because you have some belief in yourself. That's because you have some, you know, nice things that you say about yourself sometimes. But then all the negative people in the world, all the negative things you get told are actually your your ego mind talking back to you. So if you start to listen to all these things that people have to say about you, it's really just your ego talking back to you like that has all these negative doubts and beliefs that don't always make sense either because sometimes people can say things to you and you're like, why would they say that? Or that doesn't make any sense. Or why did this person have to be so rude at my job today? Like, I don't understand why people have to be like that. And that's like your ego mind because if you pay attention to your thoughts and sometimes what your ego thinks, it doesn't make sense. Like, it does not always make sense. That's why we have to sort of calm our ego mind and not always listen to it because it'll say a lot of silly things too and that's why you also have like intrusive thoughts and things like that like you are not your thoughts we've established this in other videos like you are the observer of your thoughts you are not your thoughts but the ego likes to really just kind of get under your skin and it will do that in the form of other people and it will do that in the form of things happening or again like angry pets or something there's always some way that it will show you that it's there so when you start to become less in your ego mind as in you start to observe your thoughts more we talked about this in the last video like my game card method of just sort of being neutral about everything and not reacting to things your ego starts to become less and less the more that you don't react to things your ego might get louder actually and might get more angry but then the more that you just kind of ignore what it has to say, as in also ignoring the negative things that people around you have to say, because again, it's just a reflection of you. If you can sort of just not be offended by things and you don't argue back, you don't give it the satisfaction because the ego wants you to argue back. The ego wants you to be upset about things. It wants you to react to everything. But when you don't do that, it'll eventually start to quiet down. And again, it does not always go down easy but <laughs> if you continue to not react to things and be very calm in situations then it will eventually lose its power because it gains power by you giving into it all the time so realize that the negative people in your life every time you give them attention every time you argue back with them or you take what they said and you constantly think about it you're just feeding the ego so when you learn that you can instead feed the positive things in your life as in the positive people as well and really just more so ruminate on what they say then you can really start to change your reality because again 
what you focus on grows. So if there was something someone said that was nice to you that you really liked, go back to that thought. Think that thought again. Like continue to think that thought if you want to because you're just going to manifest more of it into your life. If there's a comment someone made on your video or someone said something really nice to you, they sent you a really nice email, read it over, do that again and again because those thoughts will seep into the subconscious and again, you'll just see more of that in your reality. But just realize that everything that you experience in your reality is just you fighting you. That's all it is. It's like a war that can't be won, really. There's no point in arguing back because you're just feeding it more than anything. That's why all these teachers say things like allow things to happen, accept your current situation, because when you don't react to things, you don't create more of it. When you react only to the positive things, then you'll create more and more of that. And it's not so much about, you know, having no negative things in your life anymore because they'll usually always still be there to some extent. Your ego is never going to fully disappear unless you're just constantly meditating 24 hours a day and very good at clearing all your thoughts or at least ignoring them. But the ego will always be there. You just have to put your focus more on the positive side of things. And the more that you do that and the more that you become consistent in that and the more that you are neutral to any negative comments you will see that it starts to kind of fade into the background more and more. And in your life, you'll begin to rise up more and more in your life and there'll be less and less of those types of people around you anymore. So this is super important to realize. But also, on a more positive note, it's important to realize that you're quite literally everyone in your reality. Do you know what that means? Like, it's it's hard to wrap your head around at first, but this means that there's really no fear. There's no fear in the world. There's nothing scary to worry about because everything is you. Why would you fear yourself? Like, what are you going to do to yourself? That's the thing. And the thing is, too, like, when you talk about really negative people in this world, like people who rob banks and do terrible things, um, those are often manifested because those are our deepest fears or worst case scenarios that we have manifest in this reality and again they may always be there to some extent but we don't have to focus on that when you start to recognize though that you are in control of everything in your reality you don't have to fear outcomes because for example say you have a store online you're trying to get more sales more customers you don't know if people are going to like your product well what you have to think about is okay, I am the person selling the product, but I'm also the person buying the product. I'm also the person that is interested in my designs or going to invest in my business eventually. You're every single person involved in whatever business that you have. And so if you start thinking from that perspective, think about it. Do you like your product? Do you think your product's good? What do you believe about your product? Would you buy your product? How much would you want to spend on it? Start thinking really positively as in you were this other person. Think of what they would think about it and start saying like, my customers love my product. My customers would do this or do this because it's only the only thing that matters is what you believe about them. It doesn't matter if the customer likes it or not. It matters if you like it or not. And I noticed this in my own business. When I started saying all of my customers are kind, forgiving, understanding, patient, I had amazing customers. Now I have the best customers who are always so just great to deal with. I never have negative customers anymore. Like, it's amazing. And that's because I understood that I'm literally dealing with myself. Like, the times that you doubt yourself and you think, like, oh, they're going to hate this or they're going to be angry that this happened, the shipping problem or something, then... That's what they're going to believe. But if you start to believe, they'll be understanding. They will They will get it. They won't be angry. Whatever you want to think, then that's what they're going to think. And this goes for everything in your world. Like if you're applying for a new job, you're worried if you're going to get the job or not. You are the interviewer. You are the person running the building or everyone in the building. So what do you believe about you? Do you think you're a good fit for the job? <laughs> like, do you think that you're going to do a good job? Do you think that you would hire yourself. Believe in yourself. That's why they always talk about you don't get what you want, you get what you are, because if you believe in yourself, if you have confidence in yourself, then that is what the world is also going to believe because there is nothing but the reflection of you. So there is no fear. There's no fear of someone coming after you, of you getting robbed or something, because if you have this belief that you're always safe, then you are always safe. 
okay? And this is one that I feel, I feel like people have a hard time wrapping their head around because they always feel like there's danger somewhere. There's always going to be danger. But if you start always knowing that you're safe no matter what, like no matter what happens, you're safe, then you will live in a much safer world. I forget who says this. I think it's Albert Einstein that says, ask yourself, do you live in a kind universe? Because if you say no, then you're just creating a negative experience for yourself. The universe is kind. The universe wants to love you. That's the thing. The universe wants to give you everything that you want. They want to say yes to anything you want. But that is where things get messy because the universe says yes to everything. If you say I'm good at this, the universe says yes. You, you say I'm bad at this, the universe says yes. <laughs> if you say, you know, I'm going to do great on this assignment, the universe says yes. I'm going to do terrible, I do terrible, yes. The universe just wants to please you, basically, and do everything that you say. This is good and bad. <laughs> it's good if you're a positive thinker. It's not so good if you have a lot of negative thoughts, but that's why we try to change our thoughts. And a really good example of this is the movie Yes Man, if you go watch that movie. Okay, just jumping in here after editing, the movie name is not Yes Man, it's Bruce Almighty. I was like confusing the two, but I do talk about both. When he is acting as God, he says yes to every single email, he just replies all. And he's like, there you go, that should do it. And then the world ends up in chaos. That's because, as God in the movie says, people don't always know what they want. And that's because we're thinking negative thoughts. We don't want those things. We just happen to think those thoughts and then we get those things. So that's why we have to be really careful about what we are asking for, basically. That movie is a really good example, too, of where he says that you are the miracle. It's not something outside of you. Anyways, I highly recommend watching that. Sorry, I just realized I mixed two movies there. I was thinking of um, Bruce Almighty and then also Yes Man. I always confuse those two. But anyways, both those movies, though, have really great concepts in them. And Yes Man has this concept where he has to say yes to everything in that movie. And then positive things are happening for him when he starts to say yes to all these new experiences. And he's believing that saying yes equals good things happening to him. And he trusts the process, too. Because at one point in that movie, he like drives some homeless person up the road and his car runs out of gas and all these bad things happen. But then he ends up meeting this girl because of this happened. So that goes to show as well. Always trust the universe. And when negative things happen, realize that it's likely going to take you to something more positive. There's a reason it's happening. So always look at negative circumstances as taking you towards a positive circumstance. There's always a reason that something happens. The universe does not do anything without reason. Nothing happens without reason. So anyways, that part in the movie happens, but then also in the movie, he's believing that every time he says yes, good things happen, good things happen, his life keeps getting better because that's his assumption. If he says yes, good things will happen. So they do because the universe says, yeah, that's right. Good things will happen if you say yes to everything. And then towards the end of the movie though, like you see when he believes if he says no, bad things will happen, then they do start happening. And he's like, oh my God, like, I can't say no anymore because bad things happen when I say no. And then at the end of the movie, he talks to Terrence or whoever that runs the whole yes man conference or whatever it is. And he's like, why did you put this curse on me? I can't say no. And then the guy's like, that's not true. Like, you can say no if you want to say no, basically. And he's like, what? Because he believed all along he couldn't say no or else bad things would happen. But it was just his belief and that's why it was happening. It wasn't that he was cursed or anything. It was just that that was his belief. So the universe said yes to that. And it believed it too. <laughs> so that's the thing. What you believe is what you're going to get. So if you believe something, that's going to be your experience. And that's also when it comes down to not listening to everything everybody says. Because it comes down to you. What do you believe about it? It doesn't matter what any other person says in your reality because they're just another version of you. It could be your ego self talking, it could be a positive version of you talking, but really it comes down to what do you want to believe about it? And that's why people have different things that work for them. We have some people who believe in eating vegan or eating keto or eating a regular diet or we have people who are cured from disease by doing this thing or this thing, this natural cure, natural remedy whatever or they have this lucky stone or something they wear it's just your belief anything can be lucky if you believe it to be anything can help you if you believe it to right just as anything can be negative if you want to believe it's negative that's why when you also have negative experiences if you decide that it's actually a positive and it's leading you to something good then you're gonna experience something good out of it right 
It doesn't have to be a negative experience if you decide it isn't. The only way the universe sees anything as negative is if you decide that it's negative. So you can have everything be a positive experience. That's how you start living your best life, is just deciding that every single thing that happens in this outer world is just leading you to success, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. Everything leads you to success. That is the best way to think, and I think the first person who ever told me to think this way, it was a blog online. I think it's I Am Love is the blog's name. It's like .co, I think. I would highly recommend look up that blog. It has a lot of really good information. But they talked about that concept where she was like, you know, you can't really do wrong if you just assume you're not doing anything wrong. And I was like, what? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I was like, if you can believe anything, assume anything, why not just assume that you're always doing the right thing? You're always on the right path that you can't mess up like I talked about in my other video. And that's just what will happen. And that's exactly what we talked about in the card game video too. Just always trusting you're going to win every single time and just knowing. And that's manifestation in general. Just trusting that once you've affirmed for something, you can't mess it up. You already have that thing, right? So there's no way to mess it up. And everything that happens from the point that you affirm to when you receive that thing, it's just the journey of getting there. And that is the whole point of life in general is experiencing ourselves. It's not even about getting the thing because we already have it. It's just about the experience of it unfolding in front of us. So look at everything as a positive. Everything is leading you to your manifestation. If you've affirmed for it, your higher self already knows because your higher self is you. I said this in a comment to someone, but your higher self, you don't need to remind it of things constantly if you don't want to because it's it didn't forget. It's you. If you know something, it knows it, okay? <laughs> And it's it's also much smarter than us, and it has a much bigger overview of what's happening in your life. So if you can trust that your higher self has already heard you ask for what you said, I think Neville Goddard or someone said something like this, like, if I have heard it, then my father has heard it or something like this. I don't know if that's from the Bible or not. But if you trust in that and you know that, then there's nothing else you have to do. Like, be still and know that I am God. There's nothing left to do. You just trust that everything that unfolds in front of you is the unfolding of it and it's leading you exactly to where you want to go so anyways i feel like this video was another one that kind of went off on different tangents than i had planned but hopefully it's helpful hopefully it's because someone needed to hear it but just realize the power that you have and realize that you really are everyone in reality and another really great way by the way to feel this effect is if you think about when you went to movie theater one time and you walked out of the movie theater feeling like superman or something have you ever felt that? Because that's because you really were taking on that role because everything in reality is you. That was just you feeling it. I think the effect has a name, but it's really just the concept of you really putting yourself in that role and feeling yourself as that person. And that's kind of what you need to do when you start to think about other areas of your life where you feel someone's working against you or something. Think of the fact that you are that person. You're in that role. You're in that seat deciding which application to take which person to hire for the job, it's you. So what do you want to do? <laughs> all right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.